Dragon Ball Super Chapter 99 made some more changes to the plot of the superhero movie, and today I'm going to go through all the ones I could find. Starting with the first change, which was fairly minor, is when Cell Max is beating up Piccolo, he drives his wrecking ball tail into his belly instead of his face. But I think the biggest change is the change surrounding Piccolo's death. First, he's launched into the air, and we get a reaction panel from Pan uh, in the ship, worried for her master's safety. We then see his defeat change in a kind of convoluted way, so bear with me. In the movie, Piccolo falls back down and Gohan transforms, but in the manga, Piccolo stays elevated in the air long enough for Cell Max to then charge up one of those big dark energy blasts and launches it at Piccolo. During this time, Gamma 1, who is still passed out at this point in the movie, wakes up and rises to the occasion, flying to Piccolo and creating a shield to absorb a bulk of the damage, you know, one of those energy shields that these androids are so fond of using. However, because of the smoke that's created as a result of this, Gohan thinks he's just seen Piccolo eradicated, and then we see Beast Gohan awaken, where another minor change is Krillin reacting to the transformation saying, What's going on? It's a bad uh, Krillin impression, but you get what I'm going for. Gohan goes on to do this thing with Cell where he kicks him across the battlefield, but we get some payoff for the manga-only scene with Gamma 1 and Piccolo, where they both fall behind Gohan. Gamma 1 gets up and pleads for Piccolo to wake up, but he's still out. Gohan then turns around as Cell charges up his final attack. And as Cell charges up his final attack, Beast Gohan grins like he's almost a rabid animal itching for a fight as if he's almost disappointed or impressed. It's a bit hard to read, but definitely gives the impression he's a beast. In the manga, he really doesn't grin, he just has a very stern and determined face, like he's almost taking it more seriously in the manga than he is in the movie. And in the movie, we actually have to get Piccolo yelling Gohan, and then Gohan's face changes a little bit to be more serious. In, at the end though, when Piccolo is trying to contain Cell Max to one spot for Gohan's special beam cannon, we see in the manga that Gamma 1, Krillin, and Android 18 actually get involved. Gamma 1 shoots at Cell Max, blowing off one of his wings, while Krillin's destructo disc weakens the other wing for Android 18 to finish kicking off, making it so that Cell Max can't fly away while Piccolo is holding on to him. The final page is Gohan just now firing the special beam cannon meaning the next month's chapter should be the conclusion, but we don't know for sure. Um, we do know chapter 100 was teased to have a big surprise. What that surprise is, we don't know exactly. The quote from Victory Achita says, Something unbelievable is going to happen with crazy developments, which is a bit of a vague, like, that's a vague quote, like, what's so unbelievable? Um, we're going to have to wait and see. If they try to, like, have Cell Max become perfect Cell Max, that would be crazy i wouldn't really want that anyway i want to just be done with the superhero altogether um maybe they're teasing that the movie is going to end and then we're going to actually get some new plot lines that would be cool we also got another quote from the same interview where uchida said dragon ball super is far from over and will continue for a long time so that's nice and always good to see i tried to get a second source for this quote but i couldn't find it so Take that with a grain of salt, it could just be one of those fake news Instagram pages, and if that's the case, then of course I will uh, let you guys know in an update video. And in other news, Dragon Ball Super returned to the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with Super Saiyan Blue Goku once again, while Luffy made his debut only to have his hat deflate. Of course, a lot of Dragon Ball fans thought this was funny. I among them, I think it's uh, kind of funny. Anyway, this chapter of Dragon Ball Super was, again, just more of the movie. I really do like the art, though. I think the paneling was a bit odd. Uh, this is something that other people pointed out. Um, it's just not as dynamic and fluid as, you know, uh, Toriyama's was, and I don't think it ever will be. I think Toriyama's just, a, just like a beast, no pun intended, in his craft. So it's kind of hard whenever you've got Toyotaro. I don't know if he'll ever be Toriyama level, but I do think he's definitely not bad. I don't think he's as bad as people say, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have something to say, comment down below. And of course, if you feel like it, subscribe. And don't forget to uh, 
let me know what you uh, want to see because I did a interview recently with the voice actress for Goku and Kid Gohan. That would be Stephanie Nadolny. It's on the channel. Make sure you leave a like and comment on that as well. And like I said, make sure you subscribe because the more you subscribe, the more my numbers go up and the more these videos get pushed out to new people. It's always nice to build more of the audience and get more people watching and engaged. Because I like whenever people comment and let me know what they think. So make sure you comment and let me know what you think about this and all these videos because the next one will be chapter 100 and that'll be the last one and then I won't have any more movie to compare the manga to and then we'll have to go back to breaking down the spoilers which is still fun but this was a fun time for the channel anyway guys make sure you like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace off